I want to talk about the organization first. Right. Um, was that born out of Morgan's death, or did it come later, or how did it come about? Um, um, it came when Morgan's um, body was still missing, but it, you know Morgan was missing for 101 days, and we had a pretty good idea that that she was dead. And you know, I I was standing at, in front of JPJ actually, and was at asking the community um, for information and tips and to save the next girl. It was too late for Morgan. We knew that Morgan was dead. We didn't know where she was, but. Um, you know, it was really an organic, practical thing. Save the next girl, be vigilant, be alert, look out for one another, know your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And you have a, a, a map here that shows several different cases. Right. Yeah. Which, which cases are you monitoring right now? I mean, Hannah. not each one, but how many Hannah. of them? Yeah. Hannah Graham, yeah. front and center, number uh -huh. one. Hannah's case is, you know, acute, it's active, and, you know, we still are in a period when we could get a good result back, and, and that's what we're hoping and praying and trying to pull in from the universe is Hannah Graham. We want, been, we want the girl back. Have you been in touch with her parents? I have not. I have um, offered through law enforcement that um, our people that also worked Morgan's case that when and if they, they would like to speak with us, that we would be ready to support them in any way possible. But we also understand, you know, it's a really personal, private journey. Um, having a missing child is like, you feel like you're walking around with your skin flayed off. And um, we, we had some time when we, we just couldn't talk to anybody. So you, we want to give, give them as much space as they need to find a way to survive um, this missing phase. Because you can share the perspective. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you remember that. I thought that was 10 days after Morgan was missing. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that some of the cases are related? You know, it's, again, I, I'm not an investigator, but it mm -hmm. seems to me like it's just a scatter pattern that it indicates that there's either a crime spree or some of them are the work of a serial predator. Either one of those needs to be corrected. And um, what is the, the latest? I thought I saw something last week that there was some sort of sighting in your daughter's case in Lexington. Did right. there any, anything come of that? Uh, I know that um, investigators are pretty busy right now, so I have not asked them. I know they followed up on it, um, but, but I have not heard more about it than, the, than it was called in and they were following it up. How often do you hear from investigators on your daughter's case? You know, not so much anymore. We're closing in on five years. Um, uh, for Morgan. Um, next month it'll be five years. Um, periodically, every couple months now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was very um, intense and a lot of frequent contact with them earlier on, but after five years, things slow down. Just the name of your organization, Help to Save the Next Girl, presumes there will be a next girl. I mean, you know, there have been many next girls. Uh -huh. The recent, mo the latest next girl is Hannah Graham. And it, what, do, what do you owe it to? I mean, do you think it should be a case of more law enforcement, a case of more vigilance on the part of the young women themselves, or working kind of the buddy system? I know that I've heard there's, that a lot lately. There's, there's, there's personal responsibility, mm -hmm. at there, and there's collective responsibility. I mean, yeah, we do, um, you know, our uh, organization helps save the next girl. We kind of have a three-part um, approach to um, the problem of violence against women uh, and you know there's the educational piece um, about buddy up be aware of your surroundings know where you're going park under the light let people know where you are all of those things there's a victim support um, and advocacy and there's a legislative um, part that we try and um, encourage and support legislation that we think makes things safer for women do you think the colleges uh, need to step up their awareness? And I'm not just talking EVA. I mean, you have places like Sweetbriar and JMU and Washington and Lee and whatever is in you know, the kind of general area here in central Virginia. Do you think they need to step up their game in terms I, of awareness? I think, I think they, they have and are in the process of it. You know, the violence against women, especially on college campuses, is a national issue now. And um, it, perhaps some of it is that I think there's a critical mass, especially in our area, of young women who are missing. Um, but 
I also think it's, it's kind of, we're trying to push the ocean liner of um, complacency that allows these things to happen. Um, you know, we, we want to reach young men too. Look out for um, your sisters, girlfriends, partners, people you don't know. That's the collective responsibility that if you see a dangerous situation um, potential or one actually unfolding, intervene. Um, I think that um, I lost my train of thought here for a minute. I'm talking about collective, collective responsibility. That I think we're, it's, we have tried to really push the ocean liner, which is slow going, but I think that the groundswell of outrage at the, the, just the sheer number of missing cases in our area, it, it's akin to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, I think, that the social, the cultural mores and acceptance were, oh yeah, we, you know, people are going to drink, there's going to be a certain number of non-significant number of people who are going to die, drink and die in car accidents, but you know, that's just the way it is. And mom said, why? And you know, they changed the social and cultural context that it became uncool, not cool, do not do it, and the laws followed. We are making violence against women is not just one of those things. It, it is not, you know, the language of, oh, well, things got out of hand and there was a, a sexual assault. You know, getting out of hand has become a euphemism for rape. You know, that's not correct. Um, I think we are changing that mindset, and I think laws are following. Mm -hmm. Once um, your daughter's body was found, you had some sense of the what happened question. Yeah. Or at least you knew there was a finality to it. Um, how long, I mean, I, I'm sure it still took a long time after that to come to terms with what happened. Um, I, I will say, and it sounds maybe bizarre to you, that it, it, it the missing phase was harder than knowing that she was killed. That's you know, the next it, it, it is yeah. much to yeah. to swing on a pendulum and between hope and despair constantly, and sometimes that pendulum cycles with such rapidity, mm -hmm. uh, it, it just is debilitating and exhausting. Um, you know, and missing is you're in limbo. People don't know what to say. You know, no Hallmark cards for the missing. You know, we have rituals for death and um, casserole brigades and all of the things that lovely southern neighborhoods do for one another to cherish. Mm -hmm. Missing, how do, how do you deal with it? That limbo is um, exhausting. And that's the thing France is going through right now. Yeah. And I guess awareness is key. Correct. Even if it does lead to the, the resolution that you unfortunately and your family found and it, it at least is some sort of resolution that I guess maybe is more, more solidifying and it's something more tangible to you than the uncertainty of the missing things. Well, the missing, you, you fill in the, the unknown with some really creative, ugly thoughts and um, it, it's hard. It's ugly. Uh, when we talked with um, the Virginia State Police last week, I, I asked them, because we knew about your organization, we knew about the various cases, and I said, do you think that they are related? And they said that Hannah's case stands on its own right now. We're not three, we, we feel that it's an independent case. Um, do you think that's a wise investigative stance? I mean, like, what if they are connected? I, I, think, that, I think they have to find, find Hannah, mm -hmm. and, and then you'll know more. I, I think it's appropriate to put 100% of your energy on Hannah Graham right now. I really do. Mm -hmm. And then any connections can maybe be they, determined they can, they can tease yeah. out that snarl later, but right now we've got to find Hannah. Okay. I mean, that, that is paramount and that's, that's the, the acute situation right now. We need to get her. Thank you. Thank you. The first thing you asked oh, about uh, was 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cause, uh, I'll ask you this because I think we were still off camera. Um, you do a display like this for each one that happens? We, we do it for, for, we've done it for many. I can't remember each and every one, but, but we've had a lot of events here for different mm -hmm. people. Uh, like the Murphy case. Right. Yeah, and uh, the yeah. Clark case. Samantha Clark. I don't know that we've done something for Samantha okay, here. You know, it's what, not not every, even that doing so this that. This isn't the first time she's your daughter. No. no. Okay. But this is, this is obviously a poignant location because this was the location related to your daughter's. Right. Actually, so this has become kind of the, the, the place where Kind of sacred ground for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also the town square to let people know. Yeah. You know, kind of the town crier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That is kind of what I'm doing. The town crier comment yeah. is, is good because, I mean, I am trying. This is my version of shouting from the rooftops. Right. That's what I mean. You know, that of, something yeah. has happened here and I will not let it fade to beige. Uh huh. You, obviously, yeah. you, know, you know that something happened here. Right. And, and, and you've, I think you've spoken with national media too, mm -hmm. as far as like, I guess, not only for this cause, but probably back during when, when uh, Morgan was missing. Right. Yeah. And you know, there's there's so much of that, but there's also so much of the grassroots stuff like this that you know may have an impact. I'm guessing a lot of people cross this bridge every day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just going to and from the sports facilities. Right. How um, did. Uh, Morgan have siblings? Do you have a couple We of have a, a son. You have a we son. have a son. How is he, he doing? He lives in New York. You know, yeah. he's doing okay. I think kids do it differently. Mm -hmm. They they, they really do. Older he's than older than Morgan. Okay. And, you know, it's hard to be, he was 22 when Morgan was killed, to okay. all of a sudden become an only child at 22. And she was, what, a sophomore? She, yeah, like, right, yeah, she was okay. 20. Yeah, okay. You know, so he, he's the last one standing with all the family knowledge and the inside jokes and all of that. That's yeah. tough. Yeah. 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 I hope you um, do raise awareness for Hannah. Thank and you. I hope something breaks in your daughter's case. Yeah. You know, just, Thank you. You know, it's, it's, it's got to be excruciating, even though you're into that, you're beyond the phase of uncertainty as far as the missing part. Right. You're still very much in a phase of uncertainty as to the who. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that is, that. if there's a top tier predator who is uh, at the level of, you know, abduction, rape, and murder, mm -hmm. walking around really comfortable uh, in this place, enough to hide Morgan's body where he did, that alone is a reason. It's too late for Morgan. I mean, right. I know she's dead, yeah. but I don't want him to hurt anybody else. Yeah. Um, you know, I was told early on that most likely our um, bad guy would be found from DNA from another body. And logically, that may indeed pan out, mm -hmm. but I want to make darn sure that I did everything within my power to stop that eventuality. Sure. I want to find bad guys through tips, not through bodies. Yeah. And